वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन अवर एस एस आई एस टूटोरियल सेक्शन इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू ए फाइल इफ एडजस्ट ऑन दिस लोकेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस फाइल एंड पेस्ट इट ओके एंड इन एम इट एज ए सेल्स ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अवर प्रोजेक्ट विंडो एंड जस्ट डिक्लेयर थ्री वेलेबल्स like this we have only three variables first is file name to contain the actual file name then file path where is the file located is located then full file file path that is a, the third variable uh, and this variable is getting the value based on the expression like this now you can see we have just combined file path and file name okay and evaluate expression now you can see we have the full path file location okay just now we are going to drag and drop a skip task and a skip task in just right click on it and click on edit now you can see a edit a skip editor window has been opened now we are going to pass read only variable as a full file path that is here okay now click on edit skip to button you can see new window has been opened now we are using a name space using system dot io so we have added this name space now we are going to our main project window and declare a variable a string string str path that is our path now we are going to retrieve the value value from the our variable that is file file path keep in mind name should be the same because it is very case sensitive language value dot to string now we have the we have captured the value from the variable now we are going to show message box dot so now we are calling file class and check if exist at this method it will return true and false value then passing the string string path variable then to string now it will return true or false if file exists then true else false now we are using our if can if method now if list then equals that should be true okay now just open the conditional window and delete the file with the help of file class dot delete now pass the value string path and so the message again file has been deleted okay it is very easy now we need to close this project window save this and close this now uh, we are back to our script editor window and just click on ok button now you can see we have the file that is sales and we are going to run our package now you can see the message file exists true and file has been deleted now you can see file has been deleted now we are going to back again our package and rerun it now you can see pause that means file does not exist so it is very easy to delete a file with the help of skip task